One company spent a few days riding half of the 700 miles of all the streets in the city of Savannah. It's a company named Roadbotics, making a footprint for the start of machine learning technology for assessing our roadways. The whole idea behind infrastructure is that it's best when nobody even notices it's there. Which means a smooth ride from point A to point B. Of course, that's in a perfect world. Roadbotics sets out to capture the full network of roads. One, you have sort of a more efficient uh, data collection system. But two, because we can do it so efficiently, you can now actually monitor and maintain it more frequently. Whereas, you know, you might have done it every few years, now you can do it every year, or perhaps a couple times a year. Okay, here's how it works. Savannah provided Roadbotics with a detailed map. The company's professional drivers drove the full network of roads. The video is uploaded and analyzed through machine learning software. Soon the city will receive a full assessment. You see a, a road that's in bad shape because it's rated as a level five, and then you can zoom right in and you can take a look at the individual types of surface distresses. You can virtually walk down that street using all the imaging data. Roads keep changing over really short periods of time. So when you're able to assess and see what the status of the roads are at, on a regular basis and look at them objectively, you can have that data to plan better, more accurately, and actually make an impact on what, what to do next. Once you see something like a pothole emerging, that road is pretty much destroyed. And so there's, there's several years worth of interventions prior to that moment that could have happened if we had a better understanding of what the current status of that network is. It's a process that takes a fraction of time that it used to and at a fraction of the cost. In a matter of a few short months, the city will have all the data of half of all of Savannah's roadways. The better we can monitor it, the better we can maintain it. And so that's the what we hope to help with the governments in doing is monitoring more frequently leads to better maintenance, leads to lower costs overall, and in general leads to better infrastructure. Improving infrastructure, our roadways is one of this city council's top five priorities.